Hey everyone, so I know that I've been talking a lot about Illuminati recently, and that's just because it, it, it intrigues me. When I see something, my brain just latches onto it, and I really am intrigued by what's been going on with Blair and how she's been acting and dealing with things and all this other stuff. I am going to be making a video in regards to what she said in the Panera Bread video, because boy oh boy, is it hilarious to see someone talk about bad business practices when they themselves are one of the queens of bad business practices. But I wanted to also just tell you guys what I'm about overall. I had somebody leave a essays long comment on my video about Oz Media and her. It was literally just my opinions. Those That's basically all my videos are, just my opinions. And they got so angry, legitimately angry, about a very small portion of a 10 minute, 28 second video. Like the video itself was 10 minutes and 28 seconds and they got mad over a 1 minute, 28 second part of it. Now, I had made a video where I was dissecting the comments, but you know what, whatever. You can actually go to the original video to read them yourself. But I'm going to point out some stupid stuff that this person said. They, I'm confused as to whether this is a Blair fake account that's pretending to hate Blair while at the same time defending Blair. Because boy, oh boy, they did not like the fact that I insulted Blair. <laughs> Uh, sorry, uh, dude, anybody's gonna insult somebody who's manipulative and abusive and a horrible, terrible person. That's just across the board something that's gonna happen. It's across the board going to happen. But as you can see in the screenshot, they did not like the fact that I insulted Blair or bashed her or hurt her per poor little sensibilities. Oh, as if she's gonna see my video anyway, if this is not actually her. But it's like, I don't really give a crap anyway. She lied about the click, basically calling him a kitty diddler defender, let's just say that, a map defender, which he was not, lied about Wonderstruck, manipulated Wonderstruck, lied about Oz Media, lied about a whole bunch of things, yet I'm supposed to care that I called her a disgusting human being? Heck no. Heck freaking no. Uh, it amazes me how dumb people are. It's, it's like, you're saying you don't like Blair, but at the same time, you, you don't think it's very professional for me to say these things about Blair. And those who do YouTube professionally, which I'm not doing YouTube professionally, I'm doing this as a hobby. I would like people to watch, I would like people to get entertained by me, but I'm not doing this professionally. I'm doing this as a freaking hobby. Would not say crap like that, even though if you watch people like Moist Critical or... Ordinary Gamers, Mudahar, all those people, they do nothing but insult people they find to be detestable, deplorable people. That's all they do. And it's great, because you're calling out the bad people. But it just amazes me how these individuals, this individual, I forget the dude's name, I'm not looking at the screenshot, I'm just recording this audio, is like going on a diatribe about how I'm shoving my political beliefs down people's throats. You want to know what the political belief that I was shoving down people's throats were? Because it's, it's, it's in the original video. It was me calling Blair out for lying on a very specific thing that everybody's called out, including Joe Rogan. Including Joe Rogan. Take a listen to this. I hope I still have the clip, but take a listen to this. I am type video, but it's really just showcasing how ugly of a human being you are, how bad of a person you are, how disgusting of an individual you are. Side note, those were the insults that that idiot had massive problems with. Yes, we're talking about really hard-hitting insults there. I totally cussed her out and called her out her name. No, I called her disgusting. Okay, let's proceed. We're getting to the part that was the political portion, and it's literally only a minute 28 long. I knew all of this when I dug into you as a human being a while ago after that Trump University video, where it was very clear that you had manipulative intentions with your whole politics. Again, I don't care if people have the same political views as me, but be upfront if you're going to have a political slant. Don't come off as neutral and then all of a sudden slap on very conveniently placed political videos uh, to make your side look better. That's never good for anybody. Um, 
so that showed that you had a clear distaste and a clear disgust for at least part of your audience. It's the who's who of people who have been kicked off of Twitter and Facebook. Anyone from Donald Trump to Mike the Pillow Guy Lindell are racing to start a new brand of social media. They advertise them as spaces with no discrimination, freedom of speech, and limited moderation. They start these with the idea that conservative voices are being silenced, which, by the way, is just factually untrue. And I know it's going to piss a lot of people off right off the bat, so hi. Hey, it's Gabe the Editor, and I just wanted to point out that I love the fact that she says it's factually untrue when there's a lot of evidence that it's happening. Even Joe Rogan has pointed out multiple times how conservative voices are being silenced. It, it's not factually true, Blair. It's just not. You're lying. And this is why I pointed out why you had political bias, because you're not objective. And you take great joy in kind of showing, oh, haha, you're wrong and I'm going to piss people off and I don't care about it when you didn't even have to make the video in the first place because you're not a political page. If you were if you were to make videos about the Democrats as well, I wouldn't really care, but you, you never did. You never did. So you showed how politically biased you are and how just factually wrong you are because there's tons of evidence showing that YouTube does silence and censor conservatives. It's just a fact. So that's all I had to say. Back to your regular lead schedule program. And that's what he got pissed off by. That's the entire thing that he got angry by. And if you take a look at this next clip, because I had this recorded for the video that I was making on the situation, take a look at this. So if you go through, and I'm just going to do a speed scroll just to show you that it's there, you can look at the comment in the original video. There's only like six comments in the entire video, but just showing you that it did happen um, in real time. You'll see that the conversation did happen, but I want to make sure that I point something out very important. When he said worst recap ever, you'll see that I was very professional in my first response, even going so far as telling him to have a wonderful and blessed night with a smile. And there's more to that clip, but it's not super important. But overall, I think that's one of Blair's fake accounts because there was another person who said that they were agreeing with him that this was a horrible recap. And note, I never claimed I was doing the recap of the thing. Uh, there are tons of other pages that are now, even to this day, coming out with recap videos of what Blair did. And they're just spitting out the same old, same old. I'm just giving my own hot take on what I think of certain parts of the situation. But to have what feels like Blair monitoring even the smaller channels, because I'm a tiny channel. I'm a tiny, tiny channel. Is funny to me. It's hilarious. And so I am just laughing at this because she is so obsessed. My guess is she's still using all of her fake and fake accounts, just like she did with the Doobie Smurts uh, account. I know that my auto captions are going to have a field day with Doobie Smurts. Um, but still, it's just amazing to me how she thinks that She's so important that she can make all these accounts and attack smaller creators. Now, I could be wrong. This could not be her. But it has such a Blair feel because she's very toxic towards conservatives. And this whole entire commenter was very toxic towards conservatives, even though it was only a minute 28 of a 10 minute 28 second long video. Like the entire thing was probably two minutes long where I called her disgusting, nasty and horrible along with the, quote, political hot take of conservatives being silenced. I even told him in the comments that my liberal friends also agree that if a conservative is being unfairly treated, then that's not okay. So this is not a political thing. I don't care who you are. If you're being unfairly silenced, regardless of whether you agree with my politics or not, then you are, you deserve to be treated fairly. But he said that I would not have any issues with Blair if she was conservative horse hockey and one of the main reasons you can tell it's horse hockey is because i'm pretty sure everybody on sad milk's team is more liberal than me so it makes no sense because i'm defending sad milk i'm defending those people so it's funny to me how they think that because i'm more conservative than blair that if she was conservative i'd fully be okay with her antics no abuse is abuse I don't care if your politics side with mine. I'm friends with plenty of people that have different pol political views than me. Politics don't make up my entire world. How you are as a human being does. How you are as a person. Treat people with kindness and respect. That's all I care about. But it's just, this video kind of devolved into me talking about the person in the comment section. And, uh, you know, that's just how it is. But I just find it funny that there are people 
defending Blair, even though you and I both agree that it's most likely her. It's most likely her spending her days looking at all of the negativity that she's getting and trying to come off as though she has fans when in reality she has a handful of them, but they're dwindling by the hour. So I don't really know where I was going with this video. It kind of just devolved into me talking about the uh, fake account that she may or may not be having in these comment sections. So that's funny. Well, guys, I appreciate you watching this video. Um, I am going to be talking about her Panera Bread video, at least the part where she's talking about bad business practices, because to me that's hilarious. But um, yeah, really, overall, I think it's funny that there are people still making recap videos of this whole thing, where I do think she needs to be called out more. The fact that iNabber made roughly a two-hour-long video on this, I like iNabber, but that just feels like he's... He's, um, you know what? No, I'm not even going to criticize iNabber for that because larger creators need to call this crap out because it needs to be shown to more people. But the smaller creators, like, I know I'm milking this situation, but I'm also trying to talk about different things in regard to Blair, in regard to Illuminati. But larger creators do need to recap this stuff so that way more people know how awful of a person she is. Um, but me, I'm trying to find different stuff to talk about with her. And I have other things that I'm planning on the woodworks to talk about, too. Because there's a lot of crazies on TikTok. But overall, I'm not overly political. I, I defend everybody. I think everybody has a right to speak. And, yeah, hopefully I don't forget to put the screenshots in like I've done before. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate it. If you liked it, hit the like button. Comment down below tell me what you think. This is Gabe Radio Blobfish signing off saying take care and God bless. Peace out, everybody. And please hit the subscribe button. And remember that you are important and you matter. And do not ever let anybody tell you otherwise. Bye.